Hello, my name is Lina Archbald, and today I would like to share with you how I made this scarf. I call this scarf with spaghetti tassels. When I made this scarf, when a week ago, and I put uh, on my Facebook page and in different groups, people ask me, how did you achieve fine tassels and how did you make spaghetti tassel? All these curly tassels. So I would like to tell you how I made this cuff. If you look at this cuff, it's not a big scuff. It just, um, I don't know, I did not measure. I think it's around without tassel uh, 1.5 meters. How did I make this? First of all, I dyed margolin gauze silk. I used uh, margolin gauze silk for this scarf. To be honest, you can use any silk you have. You can use rarefied gauze, uh, excelsior, high cell, chiffon, any silk you have, even if you have scraps of silk, you still can combine and make this cuff. Then I used extra fine merino wool. And the layout is extremely fine here. It is a fine scuff. And after that, I add different fiber. And here I included silk hunkies, a viscose, bamboo, a silk uh, waist silk, no, silk sari waist, different. To be honest, this technique, I use this technique for these cuffs when, can you see this one particular, yeah? and when I create pre-felt. So if you want to learn more about this technique, this is the class. This is um, the class called stained glass, um, stained glass <laughs> Nuna felt its cuff. And this week, as we're still in COVID, sorry mentioning the word, I'm given discount because this class is one of my popular and I just want people to enjoy. So this is what I've done. Whatever I achieved here, I took technique and put here. So it's extra silk, extra fine merino wool and then different fiber. Now back to tassels. How did I do these tassels? First of all, if you look the shape of scarf, I decided just to chop a little bit of silk from this corner and just create this shape. In terms of tassels here, I made separately tassels and I added to my scarf before adding any fiber. So I just put three tassels and the reason I did because I like my scarves being functional. To be honest, I live in northeast of England, it's windy. It, I always lose my scarf, so I need to tie them for very tight. So tassels here were attached, but tassels here, what I've done here, when my uh, pre-felt was stable, okay, so I felt it to the stage of pre-felt. It's when you do basically all felting except of fulling. And then I cut, I cut piece of my scarf. What you need to bear in mind that basically where tassels cut, there is no shrinkage because by the time we felt and we stretch, there is not much shrinkage. So if you need tassel 20 centimeters, cut 20 centimeters, okay? So after I felted these tassels, so I shaped, no, I felted first, I shaped, then 
I draw obviously rinse my scarf and I always uh, do final rinse either with vinegar if you don't like vinegar then lemon to completely remove any uh, soap if you use olive oil soap it's easy to remove if you use washing up detergent it is very difficult to remove and you don't want that chemicals against your skin or against anyone else skills skills skin if you sell in if you sell in this cup have you noticed as a child money can <laughs> a pinch from my daughter don't tell her please so okay so our scarf is rinsed and then what i do i dry in towel inside of towel basically i roll to remove unnecessary moisture so we still need wet scarf but not dripping wet so after that how to get this cur curly <laughs> curly or spaghetti uh, tassels simple pencil and then I usually do three together if it's fine and then basically you just roll uh, uh, or curl around pencil your tassel okay three together very tight secure with um, sellotape uh, and leave to dry that's it so next morning I was very impatient to undo these uh, pencils and uh, my tip is when you put lots of sellotape make sure you have you can see the end <laughs> maybe put some little bit of um, I don't know fiber or paper where you can see the end that was really basically driving me mad when you, you want to see these tassels but you cannot remove pencils so when I removed eventually pencils, I got these tassels, okay? And then what I do with my felt, I iron. So basically, if you have thicker silk and you want to have this shibori still, don't really press hard. You just really steaming, I would say. Why I do this? First of all, I like my silk looking natural but still uh, neat so i i iron all this silk like here more silk and then i just press very gently my scarf why because then you felt become even finer okay this is margilan ghost silk and remember finer silk you use less texture you will get in comparison to thicker silks so this is how this is how i made these tassels and if you want to learn more about techniques how to make tassels and find felt then i recommend class fine felted scarf where we make a few two different types of scarves including i really give step-by-step -step, um video how to make excuse me <laughs> how to make this tassels okay again this class will be discounted this is one of most popular class and i want people to use that classes and learn and create and enjoy their craft so this is about this scarf and um, don't forget we have group felting with lena felting together where i continue to share my tips and uh, encourage everyone to share their work so it's facebook group so let me to mention you something else i've been working on uh, talking to my students and followers and um, understand not everyone can spend 70 pounds immediately uh, on online class i do appreciate that even i'm constantly giving discounts and bundles where you can purchase re quite reduced classes few classes together i'm working on membership site it will be part of my online classes site where every month 
a wheel share project. Every month you will learn new technique. So in June, June nearly coming to the end, so my purpose to finish by end of this week, we are going to make scarf like this. I will show you how to use a not long piece of silk. Okay, this is two meters uh, margilan um, excelsior and it is very thick as silk in my stock. So it will usually shrink quite a lot. So really, um, how to have create long scarf with not so long uh, silk, okay? How to dye silk, I will have four methods. I will share with you four methods of dyeing silk. How to create these tassels, okay? How to, if you look at this cuff, and I will put picture, you have all this kind of spider net. So how to do that as well? I will show you all this. And yes, I will release a pro project every month. And we will have a closed Facebook group where we will continue developing together, learn together and create together. I will share with you my best seller scarves in days when I used to sell wire galleries before I went, went into uh, teaching. Uh, so I, I had these three designs which were selling non-stop. I will share with you that designs as well. This is our June project and if you look it's a double-sided scarf. Yeah? You can wear anywhere, you can style anywhere thanks to these tassels and you can use any type silk and you can use any type of fiber and you can use either um, fine marina or super fine marina. Okay, so um, you will have access to videos and you will have uh, access to closed Facebook group and obviously I will answer questions via the Facebook group or via membership classes, via the system. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for your attention. Take care. All the best. Goodbye.